next we touch upon this because why not this is important news for all my clubbing man them out there so the berlin club commission have just announced just confirmed um you know to rapturous applause and everyone going absolutely insane in the comments especially for the people i follow everyone's going nuts but it's been confirmed here courtesy of the berlin club commission that berlin will be able to reopen clubs indoors from this weekend onwards so if you're in Berlin right now and you're kind of itching for a rave and you're fed up of going to the open airs, especially with all these other amazing places, unfortunately closing down, like Suicide Club obviously had um, that unfortunate incident a few weeks ago where that young lady passed away um, from a driver overdose or something. Suppose I've been told, I'm not too sure. Also, suppose I've read, I'm not too sure of the details. Don't hold me to it, but that happened. Of course, you've got the thing that happened with Grishmüller or the new um, River Sudust that happened obviously a few weeks ago. They had an incident, so they've been kind of closed for up temporary i'm not sure what's happening with else club at the moment but I, they've not really opened at all this summer so there's a lot of places that are having to close the weather's obviously getting much colder and in general anyway you know the best way to experience the clubs in berlin is to experience them indoors so without that possibility it's been a bit of a i'd imagine it's been a bit of a weird feeling around the city so to have this news come especially before the weekend must be incredible so for everybody out there living there and enjoying there hopefully you're able to make out there in the clubs and hopefully this kind of goes through there's no little last minute speed humps but this is the post here courtesy of the berlin club commission it says the following the berlin senate decided today to open the club's interiors for recovered and vaccinated people there is no mask requirement or capacity cap it will likely go into effect friday night so likely no real confirmation just yet the proposal of the club commission to offer an option with pcr tests was unfortunately not approved which is an interesting development interesting um way to go about things so Obviously, in the UK, things are different. Obviously, in the UK, you can go to events with a lateral throw test and you'll be permitted to go indoors. You don't have to show a negative, um, you know, don't have to show that you've been vaccinated. But it's obviously dependent on the event. I guess some events, because maybe they can't cover the insurance or they have insurance, I'm not too sure, they require you to have a vaccine passport. And some just require you to have, a, obviously, lateral flow test, which is obviously free at the moment now with the British government. Obviously, later on down the line, it probably will end up being charged. But it's not going to be anywhere near what a PCR test costs you in the UK. I think a PCR test in the UK costs anywhere between like 100 pounds plus right i think in mainland europe they might be a little bit cheaper i've heard people say something around 50 euros maybe less and obviously pcr tests are way more accurate in terms of you know giving you if what well, they're way more accurate in terms of diagnosing whether or not you have covid or not whereas the lateral flow tests are a little bit more of a it feels like this it's just a little bit more of a you know, say the gimmick, but it's a little bit more of a, it's performative, right? It's not exactly a bona fide um, way for you to test or to make sure that you haven't got COVID. But this approach of no vaccine, no entry, must be interesting for a place like Berlin, especially people that are non-conformist, who kind of want to go against the grain. Um, I would assume there is probably a large amount of people within the clubbing space who have decided not to get the vaccine for whatever reason, right? Some of them through health, some of them through skepticism. It doesn't really matter at this moment. So they're put in a really awkward position where they're going to have to reconcile with, do I want to go out? Do I want to go out and kind of mark this? No, not mark it. But yeah, it's kind of like marking it, right? Going out, because I felt like that when I went out this weekend, this weekend just gone. There's something about being able to go indoors of a club, especially if you enjoy doing that kind of thing, that sort of feels like you are regaining some of your freedoms it sounds a bit cringe it sounds a bit weird but it does it feels like you're somehow getting back to some semblance of normality because you know holidays aren't really what they are previously because you still have to spend what 300 pounds 300 euros before you leave on test and whatnot yeah it's just a lot of money in order to go a lot of things you have to kind of figure out in your head a lot of logistics you have to kind of plan you can't just book a ticket with Ryanair and obviously hop to another country we understand we're living in a pandemic but one of the great things about coming out of the pandemic are these little avenues and little areas of the industry or the world in general that open up that kind of give you hope for the future. And I think going back to clubs and being able to do that sort of thing, similar with people that go back to football stadiums, is somewhat a little bit of an indication of it. So those people who are obviously anti-vax are going to be put in a really odd predicament because at one point, as, you know, on one end you've got a valid reason why you don't want to have the vaccine but on the other end your life is you're like you're, you're kind of um value or not value your uh your sort of um ability to have fun 
and to live somewhat of an enjoyable life is somewhat diminished because you're not able to actualize that bit right you're not able to enjoy that bit of your life with the clubbing section of it um i think if you're a dj you probably just have to get the the vaccine it just is what it is for the job that you're doing and where you're going to be hanging around people flying different countries just be responsible you're just gonna have to get it done even if you are skeptical you just want to things you have to kind of bite the bullet and maybe put your principles and morals to one side it sucks but i guess it is what it is but i'm interested to know what people over there are think about this like the no vaccine no entry thing because i'm sure it's going to ruffle some feathers i'm sure it is um some of the comments here let's read them through see what people are saying on the comments of the page it says this does not make sense so sort of someone called lyra primuk is it hey is that the person there it doesn't matter yep there you go um she says the following this does not make any sense vaccinated people are getting breakthrough covid all over the world right now what's the point of opening if mass infections happen if clubs and then the government blames nightlife i don't think that's going to happen personally um from what we've seen the german government have been maybe more cautious and slow in terms of reopening parts of the economy than the british government or than the yeah british government have been in general they've taken a real slow approach and if they've come to a point where they generally think that you can reopen clubs now it's probably because you know they looked at numbers and like you know this is the safest moment this, if we wait any longer things may change and you know again the premise around if you have, don't have a vaccine you can't get in i think might lead to a real spike in people going out and getting vaccines because you know we're heading into the winter months the last thing anybody wants is to be standing in an open air somewhere with no ability to go indoors at a club somewhere in berlin i would imagine right because the winters there are absolutely brutal it continues it says here let's go read some more comments it's here more people kind of not happy with it oh my god finally but boom Someone says here, yeah, this makes no sense. I know people that have COVID twice, actually a friend in Berlin had them completely vaccinated and they recovered and got COVID second time. Hope we don't get another lockdown as a result of this and another stupid policy. That's true. There's a good point. There's a lot of stories happening at the moment with people who got the vaccine and unfortunately still contracted COVID. I think this one of these weird anomalies that people haven't really figured out what the reason behind it is, how it happens, blah, blah, blah. We are working on a situation, but from what we know so far, from the information that's available, from all the leading scientists, the best way to prevent yourself from getting COVID and spreading it is to get a vaccine. Now, is it foolproof? Is it 100% um, protection? No. From what we've seen so far, it should be 100% protection, but it isn't. It's not like a one-stop cure or prevention aid. It just isn't. Cool. That's that's all right. But again, the only way to stop prevention, to stop you know widespread spread and to stop you from contracting it is to have the vaccine and that's the only real way people or society or the world in general will get back to some semblance of normality unfortunately i just don't see any other routine out of this you know that's going to get us back to some semblance of normality whether it's just and again i, I would like to know what anti vaccine people think in that regard like how will they approach it if, if you're not for the vaccine which is fine and you don't want to do lockdowns cool how do you go about combating this virus or do they generally think that it's not real because it clearly is right there's people dying there's people who are generally you know there's so many stories of somebody that was oh, i used to train three days a week or five days a day or five times a day and i still contracted covid and now i'm on the ventilator those stories exist they're a little bit manipulative for the media because it seems like they're trying to stoke fear and division into the public and whatever but let's take them at face value there are many people that are getting sick many people dying that's true so i would like to really i really am curious to know from the empty vexers like what would they would what they would do what's the approach here? especially from people in berlin like in this kind of decision we've seen from the berlin club commission what's the alternative for this open up allow people from different countries to come into your country without showing a vaccine passport to go into a club and get up to all sorts of you know nonsense that they get up to in to german club, in berlin clubs for the most part is that really a safe way to go about things i don't think so right it doesn't seem like the safest in my opinion and i would assume people have definitely seen who live there an uptick in tourism especially now that the world's been opening up slowly but surely if that's the case too there's definitely a lot more people coming there from other parts of the world the only way to really prevent you know them coming and spreading that nasty virus everywhere is to mandate people to just wear a mask sorry mandate people that they just have to get a vaccine in order to step in and then once they're in of course no mask and no capacity which is perfect because the last thing anyone wants is to be raving inside of same heads or something and you've got a mask on you i mean it just defeats the purpose of being in that kind of kooky sort of club we continue here we go on so vaccinated people equal indoor clubbing party which is obviously yes um 
we got here the no more german stuff is continue because vaccinated people don't transmit the virus this is so stupid only discrimination and segregation again i would love to know what this what the what the alternative solution is because it's all well and good saying those kind of things but what what do you do instead do you just hope and pray and tell everyone to go back and live their lives and hope things get better like there has to be some plan in place this other person here said the following i hope the clubs will be asking for negative rapid test um, results and entry even for vaccinated as we know that vaccinated can still carry the virus and are often asymptomatic it's so e it's just so easy to get tested now so i hope the clubs will be responsible enough to enforce that but it's not really the club's responsibility in it well i guess it is i guess every club will should have there should be given the ability to um manage the door and entry the way that they need to be right so if their government says hey you, if it's no vaccine no entry the, the door people should be able to say okay on top of that you also need to bring a pcr test right just to give us some added safety and make people feel a bit okay which is again i completely understand and makes a lot of sense um, another person here with the vaccine you also get several chips injected that's funny to pay you the bar one of the free cocaine at your favorite dealer cool yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah Berlin clubs are coming back um indoors hopefully this weekend um which is great if you're around those parts enjoy yourself i'm probably going to end up booking my flights there very very soon before the end of the year for sure do my regular one once a year visit that i always do sometimes when i'm cheeky i can fit in two or three I can go sometime beginning of the year, sometime in the middle of the year to experience the summer because the summers there are beautiful. And then, of course, the harsh winters because the flights are cheap and no one wants to go. So definitely going to end up doing that. But I reckon these, this year the flights are going to be super expensive. There probably won't be a lot of Airbnbs around because a lot of people probably stayed. You know, the people that usually travel around, they leave the Airbnb so you can stay in them. I'm probably going to go. I'm probably not going to go elsewhere. So that's going to be an interesting part of the story overall. But yeah, looking forward to it, looking forward to it. Pick up everybody that's over there and hope you guys can get back to dancing indoors very, very soon.